I was born in Morgantown, West Virginia, um, and then I grew up in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, I'm an attorney, and I graduated, uh, yeah, that's what my degree is in. I also went to medical school for a year, um, and that's where I met my husband. Um, decided it wasn't for me, took some time off, worked, went to law school, had some kids, and still finished before he did, so it was a good, it was a good call. Socially tolerant, fiscally responsible, uh, friendly to everybody. Um, I think, you know, we are a party that includes prostitutes and pastors. You don't see that anywhere else, and it's the diversity of thought is really neat. Um, everyone coming together and truly being tolerant of one another. Uh, you know, I came from the left. I used to be a Democrat. People come from both the left or the right, either one. Uh, I think for, for me it was a belief in personal autonomy and wondering, like, how do we maximize that and defend individual liberties and rights, whether it's against state or federal governments. Um, and libertarianism is the only party that's truly tolerant. It's looking for ways to respect everyone's rights. Uh, there is a constitutional basis for federal government ownership of public land. For me, I, th I think that there is a basis for that, but it needs to be responsible and not mismanaged. To me, it's small potatoes. It's like, sure, like you set aside funds to maintain, you figure out what you need to keep going, but what can we do to reduce our spending overall? And I, th my, my ways of doing that don't involve public lands. I believe in constitutional carry, and that's because, I mean, we live in a country where you can rock climb without a harness, uh, you can skydive, you can uh, go dirt bike racing, and I like that. I like each uh, mentally competent adult choosing their own risks for their own person and their own family. Um, so you don't intrude into people's homes to take away their ability to defend themselves and their families. Um, when it comes to finding out which individuals have committed crimes in the past or have threatened others or are not in fact mentally competent, and I would have really stringent barrier for that because it is a constitutional right, um, that's the time when I would say, well, yeah, you've, you've given up your right to carry because you've committed violence. But um, for anyone who's peaceful, mentally competent, there's an absolute right to carry. I think these days people confuse security w and border control with immigration. So I would want to completely halt illegal immigration. I believe in safe, secure borders, making sure that we know who's coming in, that there's not violent criminals, there's no terrorists coming in, but I'd also really want to ramp up immigration but on the legal aspect. And for those who are already here, uh, I want some sort of registration process so that they have an incentive to um, go through those security procedures and checks and get in line for the legal immigration process. I'm not a fan of parents being separated for their children unless the parents are a risk to the child. And that applies to domestic crimes as well. Uh, well, I'd rather have, um, well, decriminalizing things that are nonviolent is, would be a big step. But also, um, holding centers for families would be better than the alternative. And cheaper, too, because I mean, I think it's a lot of cost to separate I mean, to take care of kids I have kids it's expensive child care is expensive so having that free child care element of parents who are caring for their own kids that's a lot cheaper than separating them getting child care providers reuniting them it's just it, it turns into a circus that way I can't speak to the current administration's um, goals or methods because Trump is sort of a party unto himself. And um, I, I do think that maybe his end goal is drop all countries everywhere dropping all tariffs. In my book, that would be great um, to have sort of more of a free trade 
um, mutually beneficial trade globally. Um, I understand the rationale of wanting to defend and protect uh, industries in our country that are essential for armament, uh, but I'd still prefer free trade. I believe it's better to do the right thing and suffer than do the wrong thing and suffer. You can sort of decide who you want to endorse with your vote and then leave the rest up to the fates and let the chips fall where they may. And um, I do think that picking a candidate according to who you believe in is really important. Um, I believe that both of the other candidates have violated their oath to uphold the Constitution. So for me, that's a no non-starter. I can't uh, vote for either one, and that's why I got into this race. I mean, I think both the left and the right actually can um, sort of intersect if you really think about what it means to be tolerant, um, uh, opting for direct redistribution other than government funding of for-profit, non-profit, religious, or even public entities, because that invites corruption, uh, and just saying, let's let the people as individuals decide where to spend their money, what they care about. We don't have to fight about what the government funds.